Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for my latest videos. This is the Rubik's Clock. It is the oddest event in WCA history, and I got this title for my 14th birthday recently. Now, I didn't know how to solve one when I first got it, because I was so damn lazy, but I recently learned how to solve the Rubik's Clock, and today in this video, I'm going to be solving it for the first time. Now, what did I learn about the Rubik's Clock? Well, there are nine faces on each side. And there, these are called the pins, and these are called the dials, I think that's what they're called. And uh, to turn the dials, it all depends on the pin. For example, if this pin is up, then all these four will turn. If this one is down, and these three are up, only this one will turn. So if the pins are not in the correct order, you can totally mess up your way in this solve. And uh, I also learned that the goal is to get all the faces up to 12 o'clock. And the method, uh, the beginner's method, is to solve a cross, all facing 12, then go on the opposite side with all facing 12, then solve the corner. And when you solve all the corners, then the corners on the other side will also be solved. Since for the edges, I just call them the edges, they have two separate faces. But for the corners, they have two separate faces, but they turn simultaneously in the same direction. So let's begin. Solve the clock. So, we can pair up this with this. So if we turn this one right here, all of these eight will turn and we cannot have that. So maybe we can push these pins down, then turn it. There we go. Now let's pair up these two with this one. So if we rotate this up, Nope. So maybe we can push this up. There we go. Now let's pair these with this. Now if we do this, only corners will turn. So maybe we can push these pins down. This one up. And then turn. And now for the final one, I need to um, pair this these four. Now I could do something like this, but it will break it up. So I need to move all four to this. So maybe I can do this and rotate it and push all in, rotate the spell. So it seems that I finished the cross on the this side. Now I need to solve on the other side. Now it's all the other clock. Now this will be a, a bit of a challenge because if we turn a dial with the pin down, it will screw up the cross. So the pin must be up. So it seems I got a head start. So I can connect it with this. So I'll push this down. Pull this up. And rotate. No, it didn't work. Because this one turned as well. Maybe if we rotate this one. There we go. Now let's connect these three with this one right here. So we can push this up. Now we have to connect these four with this one. So maybe we can push this one and pull up this one. Turn it. So we got all these facing the same direction. But since they're not up at 12, we can push all pins up. Then turn it to 12. And there we go. So as you can see, we solved the cross. 
and the cross isn't harmed on the other side. So it looks like we're on to our final step. Now guys, we are on the final step in solving the clock. Now this will be probably be the easiest step since we only have to uh, push down one for every corner. And uh, there's a really low chance that the cross will be messed up. So let's solve this corner first. We can push this one down and turn these. There we go. Push this up. This. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. This one right here. Getting closer. Oh my god, we're getting so close. This one. And 